Well, good morning, everybody. Bright and early. What are you doing? You're supposed to be going potty. Go. Go run, go. Go run. She's waiting for me to tell her to go down the little hill here. And of course, it's dark, so you probably can't see me right now at all. But it's morning time, believe it or not. There's the moon. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I love that she waits for my cue. It makes me happy. Um, so it's morning once again. I gotta go to work and see if I can cover a load. God, that would be nice. Wouldn't mind earning a customer instead of missing out on three trucks. This will be the third one if I don't cover them. But that's the way the business goes. And if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna move on and start calling other people because that guy's got a waste of a lane right now. A lane is what they call it, you know, where it's coming from to where it's going. That that route and he has a really crappy lane just because he's in the middle of nowhere and he ships to he's not in the middle of nowhere he's just i don't know whatever it's a waste of explaining i don't even want to get into it this early and then in my spare time i got a sketch <laughs> so that i can send those sketches off to skato so they can start working on a prototype and that's it that's my day so far yay sun's not even up yet and i'm busy super busy busy like a sea shrimp like Jacques. We. Oui. We. Oui. Hope you guys have a wonderful morning. I'll see you in a bit. Actually, I don't even know why I say that. Because as soon as I shut this off, then I'm going to start recording again. Which means I'm going to be right there. Like right here. Well, hello there, world. Told you I'd be right back. Uh, I am on my lunch. It has been a very trying day so far, covering loads from that same person, man. He's got tons of loads, he just can't cover them, so trying to help out as best I can and make some money. I covered my first full truckload, made the company 400 bucks, uh, so that makes me pretty happy. Everybody's really happy with me because I was a 25% profit margin, which, you know, people that have been there for a couple years don't usually nail stuff like that, so being that I did that one on my first try makes me very happy. Now I've been trying to cover this other load for him, which seems like it's going to be impossible, but we will see. So that's my day in a nutshell. Just picked up some pizza from the Little Caesars. I'm sure I'll regret that later. And now it's uh, back to work. So, sorry, stupid drivers. People never know what they're doing around here. They're like, um, I have forgotten how to drive. So if you could just, you know, drive around me, that'd be great. People don't know right away of stop signs, they don't know what yellow flashing lights are, they have no idea. So on my way back to work, hopefully I can make some more money this afternoon and cover that load that I've been trying to cover all day. And we'll see what happens. It's a gorgeous day, it's like, you know, high 70s, mid 70s, somewhere around there. It's comfortable enough that I could be wearing shorts and flip flops right now. I need to get some new flip flops, my old ones aren't liking me so much. So, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Oh, and I, uh, I sketched out that um, that stuff for the prototype and emailed it to myself. So now I just have to email it to my other email and then I can email it to the company and then they can get started on it or at least call me so if they have questions, you know, go from there. So hopefully that'll be doing some work for me soon and, you know, hopefully somewhere down the road can make some money and not have to hold three jobs. Maybe I'll get some extra time to actually go snowboarding instead of just, you know, designing products for snowboarding. So, back to work I go. I know it's like the fifth time I've said that, but back to work I go, back to work I go, back to work I go. I'll see you guys right now. Well, off of work down here at uh, Sunglass Emporium in Prescott. If you guys ever need shades, sandals, socks, stickers, get in here and go to them because Aaron's awesome. I've known him since we were kids. Uh, they can also make lenses, not solids like these, but pretty much anything else they can make a lens for you. So um, I will put their, their website and information in the description and that way if you guys need anything, I'm sure he'll deal with uh, mail and stuff too. So I'll ask him and let you guys know for sure. So this is Aaron. He's the badass at Sunglass and Forum. That's pretty sweet. When uh So yeah, if you guys need any lenses made or if you guys, you know, want some sunglasses or you know other stuff, uh please swing by my buddy Aaron's place at uh Sunglass Emporium. Wow, I couldn't think of the name in there for a second.
brain's fried. It's been a long day. Um, I've known him since we were kids. Uh, used, they used to have a shop. It was called Velocity. Then they switched it over to the name Sunglass Emporium. Uh, they're a really good local established business. You know, they're the small guy. They're not the the huge online big bucks mega millions stores. So please support them. Um, I am going to put their information right there. There's a link for their lenses online as well as their store itself. So um, please, actually, I'll put the link in the description on the video. It's not a link probably. Um, but that's their information. Please give them some business. Uh, and you can order from them anywhere. They ship lenses out. So if you have a pair of glasses that, you know, expensive Oakleys or Arnett's or, you know, anything like that, Ray-Bans, etc., and you need some lenses but you don't want to go paying, you know, like I know my Oakleys are, uh, I don't even know how much they are for the glasses anymore. But I know when I priced a pair of lenses for them, it was just, it was like 20 bucks more just to buy a new pair of glasses. So he can do them a lot cheaper. Uh, he'll send them straight to you. And that's really cool. You know, you can get polarized. You can get any color you want. So hook them up and give them some business. You know, rather than running out and just buying a new pair of glasses when your frames are perfectly fine. You know. So I hope everybody had a great day. My day was good. Oh, I got the, the little space heaters kicking on. Warming up the room here. Which I don't need it. It's too hot. But when I came up here, it was kind of chilly. So I wanted to warm the room up real quick. Um, so that's that was my day. Oh, shoot. I have to take a picture of my bindings and send it off to Tim. I forgot. Whoops. Like I said, working on that project. Uh, hopefully getting some prototypes made soon so that we can start some field testing on it. So I'm really si excited about that. So I have to take a picture of my snowboard and its binding so I can send it off to him so he knows exactly what he's looking at and what he needs to make and off to work for another day tomorrow you know that's the life you know that's the dream working your tail off so you can put money in the bank and then spend it on other things right consume conform no <laughs> so i hope everybody had a great day and i'll see you guys tomorrow good night bye bye sunglass emporium thanks guys Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it very much. Uh, actually, Lily appreciates it very much because those were her glasses, which you know, of course, but for those of you that don't know, those are Lily's shades and the lenses were just trashed. It actually turns out that the lenses were defective, uh, but Arnett doesn't make those frames anymore, so they wouldn't have covered them under warranty. But Aaron's awesome, and so therefore, of course, he hooked me up and gave me a good deal, which he does to everybody because he's just that cool of a guy. So give him some business. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.